What bottles of bourbon did I pick up for the month of June? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, we are gonna go over the bottles of bourbon that I was able to pick up and acquire throughout the month of June. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you drop that like if you enjoy this video. Maybe I should put a challenge out there and uh, let's see if we can hit 500 likes on this video. I personally haven't had 500 likes on a video, but I'm putting that challenge out to you guys to hit that like button and let's hit 500 likes on this video. If you're new, smash that subscribe because this bottle of Blanton's could be yours. All you have to do is hit that subscribe and at 5,000 subscribers, I'm giving this away to one of you. One more thing, if you are enjoying the content on the channel, make sure you go check out the Patreon for as little as $2 a month. You could join the Everyday Drinker community and be part of an amazing, amazing family. But without further ado, let's get into bottle number one. Bottle number one goes to Trader Joe's Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Now, if you didn't know, Trader Joe's does have some liquor stores and some stores. Here in New Jersey, there's only a couple of them that sell alcohol. And my fiance decided to go to one of those stores and pick up six or seven different bottles of wine. And she thought of me. She said, well, I'm gonna pick up a bottle of bourbon for him. And this Trader Joe's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey right here is distilled by Bourbon Square Distilling Company in Louisville, Kentucky. So it is a Kentucky bourbon bottle at 90 proof. I'll give you this right here. I'm gonna do a review of a couple of large uh, chain stored bottled bourbons. This one right here is not bad whatsoever. Neat, it's a little thin, but if you're looking for a really cheap mixer that's not gonna destroy your palate on a disgusting bottle of bourbon, Look no further than Trader Joe's. This right here is a really good pour to mix in a cocktail if you're looking for a lower proof bottle of bourbon. Bottle number two. Bottle number two goes to 13th Colony Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And well, I better bring in bottle number three as well right now. And bottle number three goes to 13th Colony Rye Whiskey finished with French Oak Saves. I did a review on both of these bottles a couple of weeks ago, and I really, really dig the rye whiskey that 13th Colony has to offer. You know how much of a French oak stave guy I am? These being finished with French oak staves absolutely bumps that flavor profile of that rye whiskey. You get that really, really nice rye spice, but then it's also complemented by those French oak staves that bring that really rich vanilla flavor that I absolutely love. And this is probably one of my absolute favorite ryes on my shelf at the moment. Bottled at 94 proof, you cannot go wrong with that. Bumping that proof up for 90, really, really nice. The bourbon is delicious as well, cannot go wrong. I would really, really, really love to be able to get my hands on one of their double oaked, but as we know, those are very, very hard to come by and they are hitting the price market at like $600 right now. And I just, I can't afford that. But nonetheless, 13th Colony has absolutely amazing bottles of juice. Before we get into bottle number four, I have to thank today's sponsor, Give270. Now, have you wanted to get your hands on very hard to find bottles of bourbon, such as the Pappy Van Winkle 12 year lot B, or the Colonel E.H. Taylor barrel proof, or something simple such as Stag Jr. This is us people, normal people, can't get our hands on. Well, look no further than give270.org. Give270 gives back to the community by doing fundraisers for other nonprofit organizations. To date, they have raised over $725,000 to give back to communities. This month, it does not stop. This month, Bourbon Strong is a 50 for 50 raffle. Simply put, purchasing a $50 ticket gives you two chances to win some awesome bourbons. First, you will get a chance to win some amazing store picks from John O's Liquors, including Knob Creek, Angel's Envy, Whistle Pig, Wilderness Trail, Penelope, and Peerless, and so many, many more. Then your ticket will be put back into the raffle and back into the drawing for your chance to win some highly sought after bourbons. Pick number one will win the entire BTAC lineup. Raffle pick number two will win the Pappy 20 year. Raffle pick number three will win the Pappy 15 year. And raffle pick number four will win the Van Winkle 12 year lot B. 
This bourbon strong will support the St. James Catholic School in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. So make sure you guys go check out Give270 down below to support an awesome cause and possibly get your hands on some amazing bottles of bourbon. But back to the video. All right, so bottle number four comes from Kevin from Drink With Friends podcast. I'll leave a link down below towards their channel and everything that they do because they're awesome, awesome guys. Kevin, he is the true bourbon Santa. He sent this bottle my way. Elijah Craig single barrel bottle at 94 proof. This one right here is eight years old and I've cracked it open and it is one of my absolute favorite lower proof bottles of bourbon. He told me he was gonna send this bottle my way. He said it's absolutely a flavor bomb. The, the flavor drinks higher than the proof allows it to. And I'll tell you this right now, it is a true statement right there. This drinks like it's a, a flavor profile out of like 100 to 105 bottle of bourbon, but it's only proofed at 94. So it's a easy, easy sip, but it is packed full of flavor. And this is my first single barrel Elijah Craig uh, offering that I have and I'm glad I have it. I definitely pick up more in the future here. Definitely some barrel proofs and see what those do if they compare very well to the barrel proof uh, uh, offerings that Elijah Craig puts out themselves at that 12 year right around now because they're changing that 12 year age statement but that one's 11 years and five months is the oldest is the youngest bourbon in there but nonetheless this one being at eight years old it's packed full of flavor cannot go wrong with Elijah Craig single barrels at that 94 proof so if you find those make sure you pick them up because if it's anything like this one they are packed full of flavor bottle number five bottle number five goes to Weller 12 year Now I have a backup for my Weller 12 year in the back there. Definitely one of my favorites out of the Weller lineup. Definitely better than the Special Reserve. I think I might like it better than the 107. As always, I always say that 107 drinks a little bit hot for my liking. This Weller 12, it's packed full of flavor in my opinion. It's got a strawberry shortcake bomb. I really enjoy it. It's definitely proofed down because of that 90 proof. You know, you don't get a lot of that uh, deliciousness that the 12 year age statement brings to the bottle. It's not better than the full proof because the full proof is packed full of that flavor, but being a little bit more aged, I think that this bottle is definitely a delicious pour. Acquired this bottle through a trade. I might be bringing it to a bottle share here in the near future, who knows? So it might be gone sooner than I would imagine, but nonetheless, delicious pour out of that Weller 12. Bottle number six. Bottle number six goes to Stag Jr. Batch 18. <laughs> As you can see, I have cracked this bottle open and I have enjoyed a sip out of it already. And I can tell you this right now, I thought I really enjoyed the batch 15. This batch 18 is holy bajoli deliciousness in a bottle. And I know everybody's going to say Stag Junior is always gonna be a great pour, but I've had the privilege of trying a lot of Stag Junior samples sent to me. Some of them are just not good, right? Some of them are just have a little bit of a bitterness to them. Some of them are absolute cherry sweet bombs. And this is one of them. It's got a little bit more of a uh, tobacco, espresso, um, oaky tannic bite in there. There's a little bit more of a pepper note that comes through on this stag. It might be a little bit more um, out of the wheelhouse of stags, but I enjoy it because it has a sweetness that comes through on that finish that just lasts and lasts and lasts. And if you have a batch 18 and you've been sitting on it, I highly recommend you opening it up and enjoying that bottle because this right here is absolutely delicious. And bottle number seven. Bottle number seven goes to E.H. Taylor, Bella Proof. As a lot of you know, my wedding is coming up and it's next Friday, July 7th. So, you know that I have been looking for a bottle of E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof for my wedding pour. And well, Kevin from Drink With Friends podcast came through again, hooked it up big time. I paid a little bit more than retail on this bottle, but nowhere near what secondary prices are going for on this bottle. And I was more than happy to spend that money on this bottle of bourbon right here. This is batch 10, I believe he said. It's bottled at 127.3 proof. 
and I just cannot wait to dive into this bottle of bourbon and enjoy it on that day. Now the funny thing is, is these are released I believe once a year. Stag Juniors are released twice a year. The E. Taylor Barrel Proof is a younger offering than Stag Junior, but it's a very highly sought after bottle and I just wanted one for my shelf. I wanted that bottle as my wedding pour and I can't thank Kevin enough for getting the, his hands on this bottle and doing the dirty work for me. And well, here it is on my bar top, ready for me to crack open on my wedding day. So like I said, I wanna know what bottles of bourbon you all acquired for the month of June. Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you guys drop that like. Let's hit 500 likes. I'm giving that challenge out to you guys again. And if you're new, smash that subscribe for your chance to win a bottle of blends. But until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.